got to mention about when I was at Shepherd Field, Texas. While I was waiting to get approved for college training, I wasn't even sure I had been accepted. They had a program called ASTP. It was called Army Specialized Training Program. And only certain guys with a certain, I felt very, had a certain IQ got the test, <laughs> were, were eligible, and I got this test of the wow, pretty good. And it was an interesting test. Uh, it was very unlike uh, the traditional tests. They'd give you a very complicated um, train schedule, you know, and, and give you five minutes to tell you how you would get from Cincinnati to Richmond. And, if you change and what day could you get there and what hour, stuff like that. A lot of very different kind of testing. And I never knew it, what it was all about, to tell you the truth. Uh, and, uh, but I know that a lot of people that went in that, got in that, uh, for somehow or other, ended up overseas very quickly in, into battle. Only in reading that book, uh, of, of uh, it's, I think you have, or one of the books by, uh, who's that popular historian? Stephen Ambrose. Stephen, yeah, Stephen Ambrose. I just read in his book on D on World War II that that ASTP was started because they thought the war was going to last six or eight years. Henry Stimson, the Secretary of War, I never knew that. So what they did, people who got ASTP and passed would be paid, their college would be paid for, and they weren't eligible to go anyplace else. They, we just had to train this like an officer corps. I didn't know that. But, however, Eisenhower, strangely enough, this uh, Stephen Ambrose was Eisenhower's biographer. He was very critical of Eisenhower and, and General Bradley and all those people in World War, uh, after the invasion. Uh, apparently, uh, after they broke through in France, Eisenhower thought, we're going to go sweeping right into Germany. And what they found out was that was a big mistake. And we got hit really hard. So guess what? They pulled all those people out of ASTP. Guys that thought, man, I'm gonna have it made. I'm gonna get my education paid for. And phew, they ended up in the infantry and so many of them died in the Battle of the Bulge. Uh, Peg's brother, John Vogler, was one of them. And he was practically shell-shocked all his life. Uh, if, if a car exhaust went off, he would go crazy. Uh, he went through hell and a lot of those people died in the book, in the movie called, if you ever watch it, uh, you have it on there, The Longest Day, you'll see episodes of people being assigned, and, no, and they didn't know the name of the guy next to them. Um, so that was, the, talk about luck, that I didn't get into that, and uh, because that became a, Matter of fact, those who were not in ASTP called it all safe till peace. They thought that was a, a rip-off. Uh.